Hello students, I am Dr. R. K. Kaul, I teach Geography at Pathway School, Noida. Today we will be talking about Geography as a discipline. The subtopics which I will be covering here today in this topic would be why should we study Geography, what is Geography, what Geography as a discipline is concerned about and most importantly, geography as an integrating discipline. Let me bus first begin with why should we study geography. Now, as you know students, we all live on the surface of the earth. Our lives are affected by the surroundings in many ways. We depend on the resources to sustain ourselves. Our surroundings affect us and we in turn also affect the surroundings of ourselves. Now it is of utmost concern to all of us to know as students and as study people of geography, we should be curious to know about all the phenomena which vary over space what we learn about the diverse lands and people from the study of geography and you all will also be interested in understanding the changes which have taken place over time. These all concerns make geography as a very curious and an interesting subject. Geography equips us to appreciate the diversity and investigate into the causes responsible for creating such variations over time and space. You will develop skills to understand the globe, convert it into maps and have a visual sense of the earth's surface. The understanding and skills obtained in the modern scientific techniques such as GIS and computer cartography equip you to meaningfully contribute to the national endeavor for development. Now let me just briefly take you to what is geography. In very simple words, if we try to define geography, we can say that geography is the description of the earth. The term geography was first coined by Eratosthenes, a Greek scholar who coined this term and it has been derived from two Greek words, geo means earth and graphos meaning description. Now both the words put together, we can say that geography is the description of the earth. But geography in isolation without human beings, earth in isolation without human beings is meaningless. So the earth has always been seen as the abode of human beings and thus geographers defined, the scholars defined geography as the description of the earth as the abode of human beings. Because earth is constantly being modified by humans and humans in turn modify the surface of the earth. They leave their imprints on the surface of the earth. Apart from that, earth is also multidimensional. That is why many disciplines from natural sciences such as geology, pedology, oceanography, botany, zoology, meteorology and a number of sister disciplines in social sciences such as economics, history, sociology, political science and anthropology etc. study different aspects of the earth's surface. So far as geography is concerned, geography is different from other sciences in its subject matter and methodology, but at the same time it is closely related to other disciplines. Geography derives its data from all natural and social sciences and attempts their synthesis. There exists variations over the surface of the earth in its physical as well as cultural environment. 
a number of phenomena are similar and many are dissimilar. It was therefore logical to perceive geography as the study of aerial differentiation. Thus, geography was perceived to study all those phenomena which vary over space. Now, geographers do not study only the variations and the phenomena over the earth's surface, but they also study associations with the other factors which cause these variations. Thus, geographical phenomena, both the physical and human, are not static, but highly dynamic. They change over time as a result of the interactive processes between ever-changing earth and untiring and ever-active human processes. So far as primitive societies were concerned, these primitive societies were directly dependent on the environment and did not have much to do with their, their own efforts because they were mostly concerned and their activities were mostly determined by the physical environment. Geography thus is concerned with the study of the nature and human interaction as an integrated whole. We also consider this as the problem of environmentalism, what we call as that environment determines the activities of the human beings that was mostly with the primitive societies. Human is an integral part of nature and nature has the imprints of humans. Nature has influenced different aspects of human life. Its imprints can be noticed on food, clothing, shopping, shelters, occupation. Now, if we see any landscape on the surface of the earth, apart from the physical features, if one can see the imprints of the human beings on the surface of the earth, uh, be it in the form of settlements, be it in the form of shopping malls, hospitals, roads, buildings, these are all forms where humans have tamed nature and made it to their advantage. Present societies therefore have modified their natural environment by inventing and using technology and thus have expanded the horizon of their operation by appropriating and utilizing resources by nature. Those areas where human activities are not possible, but these have been tamed by humans to their advantage. With the gradual development of technology, human beings are able to loosen the shackles of the physical environment. Even those areas which are dry and desert areas, human habitations are thriving in all forms. This is one of the ways in which humans have been able to tame environment with the help of their technological skills and ingenuity. We now therefore find two things. One is the humanized nature and other is the naturalized human beings. And it is the relationship, the interactive relationship of both humanized nature and naturalized human beings that we study in geography. Geography as a discipline is concerned with three sets of questions. Some questions are related to the identification of patterns of natural and cultural features as found over surface of the earth. These are questions about what. The other set of questions are related to distribution of natural and cultural features over the surface of the earth. These are questions about where. And third set of questions related to the explanation or the causal relationship between the features and the processes and phenomena. These are aspects of geography which are related to the question of why. So, three sets of questions are basically what we study in geography, that is what, where and why. That is what makes the study of geography distinct from other disciplines. 
geography as a discipline is related to space and takes note of spatial characteristics and attributes. It studies the patterns of distribution, location, concentration of phenomena over space and interprets them providing explanations for these patterns. One of the important words which we use often in geography is the word space. The variation of phenomena over space is an essential concern of geography, be it in the form of the humans, for example, the density of population, the distribution of population or other aspects of the human activities in the form of settlements, roads, these are all aspects which we study in geography. Now let us have a look at geography and its relationship with other subjects. Geography is an integrating discipline. It is a discipline of synthesis. It attempts spatial synthesis as compared to history which we say is a temporal synthesis. Its approach is holistic in nature and it recognizes the world is a system of interdependencies. If we have a look at this diagram, this clearly depicts us the interfaces of geography with other subjects from geography, from geology, microbiology, hydrology, pedology, botany to other natural sciences, all forms of knowledge have their interfaces with geography from economics, demography to political science. So, geography is an integrating discipline, has interface with numerous natural and social sciences. Every discipline is concerned with the scientific knowledge and is linked with geography. So, dear students, we discuss today about the what geography is, it is an integrating discipline and it is mostly concerned about what, why and where of the phenomena. It is also concerned about the human beings and their imprints on the surface of the earth, how humans have been affecting the earth and how earth in turn also affects the earth also affects the human. St this uh, special interaction th is the concern of geography. Geography also has its interface with other branches of geography, other branches of social sciences and natural sciences that makes the study of geography most interesting and of course it concerns all of us.